Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Zak and uh, I have uh, spoken once before, a couple times before, but today I'd like to bring up a topic uh, that's a uh, concern for a lot of people. Uh, and I made some little notes um, about this topic. It's uh, the 10 worst habits that kill our teeth. So I wanted to talk about that. Uh, number one, uh, but worst habit is definitely sugary foods. Um, anything that contains sugar, especially if you're not brushing your teeth after eating sugar, that'll stay in the saliva for a long time and adhere to the enamel and eventually will cause to, cause to decay. That's the number one culprit of uh, tooth problems. Second is a lack of water. Okay, if we don't drink water, number one, water is super good for the body, but also very good for the, for the teeth because it creates, uh, you don't want a very dry mouth. First of all, um, you want to have a pretty wet mouth and water will wash off a lot of bacteria off the teeth. And whenever the mouth is dry, the bacteria will adhere very, very strongly to the enamel. As it adheres to the enamel, eventually it's gonna cause teeth to get uh, cavities. So that uh, drinking water is definitely very, very important. Number three, nail biting. Anybody who is a nail biter, that's very bad habit. The main thing that it'll cause, it'll cause chipping and wear on the, uh, of the enamel. I see this happening all the time. People who come in and, and they have uh, nail biting habits, uh, they end up having to do fillings or bondings or veneers and that's a habit that should be avoided at all costs. Um, heavy brushing, uh, that's number four. Brushing your teeth very, very strong. So a lot of people believe somehow that if you brush very strong, it's just good for you. And, and I constantly hear from patients, well, I got to brush really, really hard and I go in there and I try to do my best. So um, that's all good and well. The problem is if you put a lot of pressure on the enamel with uh, tooth bristles that are more than soft or extra soft, even if you're using extra soft tooth bristles, um, if you brush super hard, you will cause abrasions of the enamel. So when people, a lot of times I notice the patients will come in and say, you know, I have a lot of sensitivity on my, by my gums, uh, on my teeth, especially when I, when air hits it or I drink something cold or I eat ice cream. That is uh, many times due to tooth, what we call tooth brushing abrasion. Tooth brushing abrasion will cause uh, you to lose enamel off your tooth, thus bringing you much closer to the nerve. So let me just show you a little bit in detail how that works. So the tooth has three basic layers, enamel, dentin, and nerve. And when you brush super hard, see over here, you can remove mechanically part of the enamel. As you remove the enamel, you get into the dentinal layer. And now, because of the very close proximity to the nerve, anytime water or air hits it, you can actually develop sensitivity. In this case, it's fixable and it could be addressed, but it isn't something uh, that obviously you'd like to have. So brush softly and use a very soft nylon bristle toothbrush. Number five, acidic drinks. Okay, lemon, ju lemon juice, lemon uh, containing drinks will definitely cause enamel to be disintegrated. Over time, we, I, we see it all the time. We're constantly having to put fillings or crowns or fix those problems. Number six, neglecting baby teeth. Um, parents, and I'm talking to parents now, obviously children can't do much for their own teeth. You must brush your kid's teeth at least twice a day. They should be brushed uh, in the morning and at night. And also they must constantly be monitored for interproximal cavities, which are cavities in between uh, their teeth. And the way you do that is you come in for an exam once every six months and we can take one or two x-rays here and there just to make sure that your kid's doing fine. 
um, using um, special tube paste that will strengthen the enamel, such as MI paste, is something you can discuss with your dentist. Number seven, using teeth as a tool. How many times have we had somebody try to open a beer bottle with their tooth, or try to rip off a tag off of clothes with their tooth, or try to bite into some kind of a little string on a fishing rod with their teeth, and that will cause fractures of teeth very, very quickly. And please be careful with that. Teeth are not designed to be used as tools. Number eight, thumb sucking. That's a very, very large problem. Of, and that should be very closely monitored in children. Uh, thumb sucking is if somebody does it for an extended period of time and a child who does it for an extended period of time will develop orthodontic uh, problems. They'll develop a high palate, they'll develop an anterior open bite where the front teeth don't come together and that problem is very difficult to correct. Ultimately later in life that can also cause um, you to have um, sleep apnea issues, difficulty in breathing at night, and lots of allergies. Number nine, smoking. Well, everybody knows smoking will cause problems. Um, uh, as far as direct issues, uh, uh, smoking is the number one cause of oral cancer, which is what we always check for, but it, a, a smoker can develop that 50 times uh, more likely to develop it than a person who's a non-smoker. And also staining of teeth, obviously, is a problem. And uh, number 10 and last problem that we see a lot of is when people chew on ice. Uh, ice chewers will break their teeth or crack their teeth constantly. So please, I know it feels good and I know some people love to chew ice, please do not do that. Anyways, uh, that is my little uh, 10 worst problems for teeth for today. I want to also make a little comment. I'd like to uh, welcome our new uh, office that has joined our team in Temecula called the Temecula Dental Group. So if you see this and you're in Temecula, please stop by and visit us. Thank you and we'll, I'll speak to you soon again.